Welcome to today's Napa Valley Pride Minute. Napa Valley LGBTQ Pride 2011, a celebration of the contributions made by the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning residents of our community, wishes to thank our platinum sponsors, Claude Duval Winery, Classic Party Rentals, and 99.3 The Vine. And now, here is your Napa Valley Pride Minute. And here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Rick Turco in the house, and um, Ricky brought some guests. So let's I, let's tell people what we're doing. So like what's going on. So we're really excited. Today is the first day of Napa Valley LGBTQ Pride. I always have to That's get all the letters, letters out. I know. Yeah, we'll explain LGBT. those in a second. <laughs> um, but it's a ten day celebration. We've got twenty four events over the next ten days, and we're really looking forward to it. We're really excited about it. So, it looks like fun. Yeah. So, why do we have a Napa Valley Pride? I mean, what's what's the whole point behind it? So, the, so really, the point behind it is that when you think about it, there's an awful lot of people. If you know gay people, there's an awful lot of them that were in the closet. That yeah. whole idea of not really living yeah. who they are. Right. And so the pride, the whole idea of pride is saying, okay, finally, we're able to be out right. and living with integrity in our lives. And that's that's really what pride is all about. That's great. And it's a celebration, right? Right. It, right. And it's not just for gay people. No, 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 no. Because um, I love to go to these parties oh. and events. And we, and we love having you at the parties. So it's it really is open to everyone. I mean, um, I'm involved with a, uh, an organization called the Napa Gorilla Gay Bar. And our big thing is we take o- there's no gay bars in town. Yeah. So we take over a place and make it gay <laughs> for the day. So our whole thing is making sure that everybody is welcome at those events. Yes. Everyone should feel welcome, not just, Absolutely. you know. And I mean, I would have to say that almost everybody has a relative or a loved one that's gay. And I know that, you know, I, I remember back in the day when I was a kid, a teenager growing up in Napa and someone very close to me in my family was gay, but could not be out. It just wasn't possible back right. then. That's exactly okay? right. So um, it's really exciting for me to now see how far we've come. Well, and it's exciting when you when you've walked alongside someone who's had yeah. to, you know, that's that's actually gone through the process, and right. you see the growth that takes place, yeah. and just how, when you can finally just kind of take that deep breath and yeah. say, "This is who I am," right. for the first time in your life, it's a huge, huge right. step. And to now finally be at a place where it's more accepted. I'm not going to say it's totally accepted because it's really not. Uh, And you know that (laughs) I'm I'm telling, I'm preaching to the choir, but, um, but yeah, but I, I I know that, that the, this person that I cared about and care about went through a lot of pain, went through a lot of trauma and suffering. And it was really hard to Mm -hmm. see that, you know, from my viewpoint. So this is why, you know, I'm, I'm real excited to see this, these pride events and all that. And it's really a celebration for how far we've come. The other thing about the pride events is that there are an awful lot of businesses in the community that have done, have been very accepting of us and very encouraging of all of us. Mm -hmm. And so this is also, because there's so many events, we're able to actually do something to thank them, to give them some business during the 10 days that's and let nice. them know how much we appreciate that, having them in the community. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So uh, tell us what we're talking about today. So the first thing we wanted to talk about is that, you know, to put on 10, you know, 10 days worth of events, right. it, it takes some coin. You can't yeah. do that for free. So every year we have a fundraiser. Two years ago we had uh, wrist bracelets. Last year were dog tags. This year we're doing something a little different. <clears throat> We've got... Uh, lanyards. It's a bright purple lanyard, and it connected to the lanyard is kind of a badgy looking thing. But yeah. on the back of that badge is actually a scan a barcode. Oh, okay. Now the way that this is going to work is this is actually a raffle ticket, and oh. what we have is at the end of the ten days we're going to do a drawing, and the grand prize is a two hundred and fifty dollar Amazon gift certificate. We've got wow. a couple of hundred dollar Amazon gift certificates, and then four fifty dollar Amazon gift certificates. So just by buying the lanyard and and badge, you get an entry to win that. You can also buy additional raffle tickets, and the the scan the barcode is there because every time you attend an event, uh-huh. there will be a scanner there. And if you scan your ticket at the event, you get another entry. Oh, I see. Right. So you can accumulate quite a few. That's right. So, Kelly, we brought you one, and <gasps> oh, there's a significance you. to this one. Okay. You get 
raffle ticket number one. Oh, you're going to make me cry. She's, she's Thank tearing you. up there. So wear and what it, do you, where, where do we it with get pride. Them and, and of course, <laughs> where do we get them and how much are they? Okay. So the, the lanyard with one raffle ticket is $3 and you, oh, we're selling them at right. all. No, we're selling them at all the events as well. We're one of the events that we'll talk about uh, next week is we'll be back at, we were at uh, chef's market last night downtown. Oh, fun. Yeah, we had a table down there. We're going to have a, we'll have the table again next week, and you'll be able to buy them there. So that's something that everybody goes to. So, right, right. Um, and, you know, with, there's kids running around town selling the raffle tickets and the right. lanyard. So just look for somebody that's wearing a bright nice. purple uh, lanyard. And I'm wearing pur- a purple shirt today. There you and go. And I didn't even know. There you go. <laughs> so, right. yeah, so that's um, that's our primary oh, that's fundraiser. Great. So we really, uh, uh, I, you know, it's, it's going to be a great way to try to get people to come to more events mm-hmm. because you can get more chances to win. I like it and have more fun. That's right. 